Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day so far. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm grade 9 and 10 crafting materia in preparation for patch 6.1 and also make a little bit of gill on the side. Now to get started, you're going to need a couple classes to level 90. 1. Armorer. 2. Blacksmith. You'll understand a little bit later. 3. Goldsmith. And 4. Alchemist. You also want your miner to level 90 and at least a botanist up to level 80. You are going to be using these superior spirit bomb potions, which will give you spirit bomb gain plus six, better crown pie, which I already have active, as you can see here, gives me spirit bomb gain plus two, and the free company action that which binds us two or three, if you craft number three, or use the squadron. I think I have one on me. These little manuals here that you can get from your squadrons, which basically has the same effect and gives you a plus three in spirit bond bonus. There is one specific mission that your squadron members can do to get these. So make sure you prioritize these ones if you don't have a free company. Now, the other items you're going to be needing are Chondrite, Thin Mithrite Ore to make the ingots. You're going to be needing anite whetstones, so you're going to be needing a lot of anite. Raw star quartz. And for the alkahests, you're going to need light gerbera, the luna tender blossom, and the underground spring water. The alkahests can be made three every single synthesis. So these ones are pretty easy to make. I already have 165 room to go. So basically, you're going to be spirit bonding while you're quick synthing the whetstones, star quartz, and the chondrite. Once those are all made and done, you will then use the materials to start making star quartz wristband of aiming. This is going to be for the love quests. This is where the gill portion comes into play. So if you have a hundred love quests just sitting there doing nothing, it's time to burn them with the Star Quartz wristband of aiming. Now you will get Star Quartz, Windshaw crystals, and occasional fire crystals. Now, the reason why I say have an armor and blacksmith to 90, because both can make Chondrite, but one uses fire, the other one uses ice. So if you have low amounts of one and high amounts of the other, you get to pick and choose. But since you need fire, I honestly would go with armor. If you don't have an armor leveled up, go with blacksmith. If you don't have a blacksmith leveled up, go with armor. So you have options. So I have all the buffs already up. So let's go ahead and make sure I'm on blacksmith first. Okay. And now we're going to quick synth as much as we can. Now, pay attention to the spirit bomb portion on my gear. You need to have at least all five slots melded. It does not matter what grade, as long as all five are filled. Now, you can see that the first three crafts did not raise the spirit bomb, but after the third, they started going up, as you can see here. And the rest of them go up as well. Now, occasional, Occasionally, one will not gain Spirit Bomb, but the other ones will, which I don't understand why that is, but it happens. So as you can see, they're growing up one at a time. And I'm on my 14th or 15th item right now. So you're going to need to make around a little bit over 100 of these materials to get a fully Spirit Bonded left side. And of course, my right side is almost there as well. As you can see here. Now the material that you get through spirit bonding this way is random, but you always will get either a grade A at nine or a grade 10, depending on your RNG. But because you'll be doing this to eventually turn it into love quests, you're actually doing two things at once. You're preparing the materials and you're spirit bonding at the same time. 
You probably can also do this with the script set because I think they're around the same arm level and they're still level 90. So if you guys don't want to do it with a crafted set, you can do it with a script set. So my right side is already done. So quit out, otherwise the accessories won't get spirit bonded. So you go to extract. And we'll see what we get. So like I said, you don't have to have expensive melds. You can just use grade ones for the heck of it. If you want, make a separate set. One for spear bonding and then one for actual crafting. All right. So we ended up getting one craftsmanship. Nine, one CP9, one CP10, and two control 10. So that's not bad. So we're going to plop this into my... Chocobo saddle. So as you can see here, I've been doing this for quite a few hours and look how much material I've gotten so far. So we're going to have to continue spirit bonding more. So this is around 30%. And then these will eventually gain spirit bond as you can see here, they're starting doing it now. But I noticed it takes at least three to start it and then I think I'm on the eighth one it stops spear bonding and then by the ninth one it starts going again so basically you do this until you're basically out of materials all right so I'm gonna let this go and I'll see you guys for the next part which is going to be for left quests All right, so I finished making all my ingots. So now we can start making the star quartz wristbands of aiming. Now the macro that I use is right here. Reflect, manipulation, waste not two. Innovation, three prep touches, great strides, barricades, veneration, three ground works. You guys can tweak this any way you like. All right. So we're going to let it go. Now, once your love quests are all burnt out and you have no more, then you are going to be needing to do something different to spirit bond in the end. Once you run out of your materials. And that's where blacksmith comes into play. Unfortunately, you're going to have to get a carpenter to level 90 because you're going to be using the integral lumber in order to make the lapidary hammers for scripts. So you'll spirit bond your materials. Once you run out of love quest, you switch to doing turn ins for scripts, and then you'll get your material while you're spirit bonding, and then your material through the script system. So you're making gill, and you're also getting your material all at the same time. And because you already made your materials for your turn-ins, you guys will have a crap ton for collectibles. Just as long as you have the crystals already figured out. Alright, so you stand right here in this corner. Star Athletes. And here we're going to get 5,040 gill and 90 fire crystals. And then you just switch to him and pass it in. Fire crystals again. Twelve fire crystals this time so you can get 90 or 112 so they kind of do give you your materials and your crystals back more fire and one more to go there's the star quartz 
So if you couldn't tell, I finally got the Honest Gillionaire. I got my 10,000th gill earned. And there you go. So there's your gill, if you have the left quest available. And then when you're done with all that, you're going to start doing the rarefied Chondrite Lapidary Hammer. And you're going to need one integral lumber, but you can see the Chondrite and the Star Quartz. And then you have your Fire Crystals, and then you have your Earth Crystals. So you guys can do this when you are running out of life quests. If you don't want to do this, then just stick to quick something, the Chondrite and the Star Quartz while your love quests regenerate in 17 days is where you get the 100 back. Or you can do your 6 per day. That's completely up to you. But take advantage of your food window because it's only up for 30 minutes. So eat two bitter crown pies to extend it to a, uh, an hour. And then go get more. Alright? So guys, that's pretty much how you farm grade 9 and grade 10 materia with a little bit of gill on the side. Alright? So guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, make sure that notification bell next to my subscribe button is where you guys never miss an upload and join my Discord server by hitting the world icon on my YouTube banner. I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to help make this full-time career for me. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut, and always remember to keep forging ahead. And happy spirit bonding.